Hi everybody, it's me again. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit out of character for the channel. I'm going to be doing a review on a piece of workout equipment. My New Year's resolution was uh, to get myself back in shape and to lose some weight. In order to do that, what I'm doing is I'm using the P90X3 workout. And in order to do that workout, one of the pieces of equipment that's required is a pull-up bar. Now this is my workout area. I've got my TV, I've got my floor, um, and obviously uh, this is part of our living area, so I can't leave a permanently assembled pull-up bar um, out here. Also, the ones that, that fit over the doorway aren't going to work because we've got the double doors. I needed something that I could put up and take down pretty quickly, and just, that was really my primary criteria. It also had to be stable enough to be able to, for me to, and all of my 210 pounds, to be able to uh, do chin-ups on and not have to worry about killing myself. So, the bar that I found is made by a company called TrapezeRigging.com. Uh, that's where I found it. And the pull-up bar that I'm going to be reviewing today is their Elite XL Freestanding Pull-Up Bar. So, you're supposed to be able to set this up in under a minute, and I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to set it up, then I'm going to talk a little bit more about the bar. So, here we go. Uh, when I purchased it, I also purchased a bag with it, and it makes hauling around the pieces a lot easier. So this is going to be my work area. This is where I'm going to set out my uh, pull-up bar. It comes with a nice uh, sturdy bag. And these are the two base pieces. One base piece here, one base piece here. As I go through this, one of the things that I really liked about this over a standard pull-up bar is that it has this reinforced spacer that helps me get the distance between the two poles right and also makes it more stable. I tighten that down. Everything is made out of stainless steel. The wells are all really nice quality and it's also completely made in the United States. Next thing that I've got are two bars here. These pins are here because in addition to using it for chin-ups, you could also set this up to use it for dips if you decided that you wanted to. Now, this is the cross piece. have the two top uprights. One upright goes on like this. The other upright goes on like this. And then the whole piece assembles like this, and time. That, I believe, is under a minute. So, this is the entire, uh, piece, this is the entire uh, piece assembled. A couple of stats that I want to tell you about it. Uh, the base is 45 inches by 42 inches. The height overall of this piece is 92 inches high, and you can adjust from 92 inches all the way down to 77 inches in three inch increments. You've got all of these holes here that you can use to adjust the height of your pull up. One of the things I preferred about this over their standard pull up bar was that this one is, like I said, up to 92 inches. Their standard pull up bar is 84 inches. And so it wasn't quite high enough for me to be able to do a free hang. The overall weight of this unit is 36 pounds as opposed to their standard pull-up bar which is 22 pounds. So it's heavier, it's heavier duty. I like the spacer along the bottom because it makes setting it up much easier. Uh, there are other videos on YouTube setting up their standard pull-up bar and there's all kind of balancing and things like that that have to go on. It's just not as easy to set up. Now this one is their deluxe bar. This one costs 
350 bucks. So it's not a cheap piece of equipment. But I don't mind spending money for quality. Um, it's rated up to 350 pounds. It met my criteria of it being able to set it up in a minute. I'll take it down in a minute, but I'm going to show you how stable it is. Now, anything out there that is that you can set up and you can take down is going to move a little bit when you're pulling on it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a couple of pull-ups on it. Just to show you how it, the fact that it really doesn't move all that much. You can do narrow grip pull-ups, you can do wide grip pull-ups, um, you can use either hand position, um, you can do chin-ups with your palms towards you, you can do pull-ups with your palms away from you, uh, you can do neutral grip pull-ups if you want, this has the neutral grip extensions on it. And so with my 210 pound weight, I'm going to do a couple of wide grip pull-ups for you, and I'll just to show you how it, how it works out. A dead hang, and even if I move, the bar doesn't move that much. But a pull up, even if I kick my way up a little bit, it still moves a little bit, but it really doesn't move that much. I don't feel unsafe on it, which is my biggest criteria. Um, I'm not to the point yet where I can do a lot of pull ups, so one of the extra pieces of equipment that I'm using for the P90X program is their pull up assist bands. This just clips over the bar like this. Move it to the center, then you put one foot in here, and if I do narrow grip pull-ups, instead of just getting one, maybe two, I can do a half a dozen pretty easily. When you're done, simply take your foot back out of the stirrup, and it goes off to the side and it's out of the way. So this is a nice piece of kit. Um, 40, it's 40 some odd dollars. I don't have a problem spending a little bit of money for my fitness, but this definitely allows me to do more pull-ups uh, with less work uh, and with better form, at least until I'm strong enough to be able to do uh, the unassisted pull-ups. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you how I can lower this so I can do dips, and then, in a di then after that, I'm gonna put it away. So bear with me, here we go. First thing, we can just take this off, put it right here. In order to do dips, remove the top two bars, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top two pieces out. And then I'm going to simply slide over the pieces over the lower pieces here. Now I have to move my pins up. Get them to a good height. Now slide this down, just like that. Now if I want to use this as a dip bar, come up here and I can dip. So it gives me multiple exercises that I can do. And that's how you use it as a dip bar. To finish taking it down, all I do is slide this piece off. Slide these two pieces out. Pull this out. And then these two pieces go away. And that's it. So that shows you from setting it up for pull ups to breaking it down to the point where you can do dips to taking it all the way down on the Elite XL freestanding pull-up bar that's made by TrapezeRigging.com. Hope you learned something today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please 
like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing, I'm trying to do more videos now on a regular basis. And as always, have fun, be safe, and hey, take your kids and make them exercise. Have a wonderful day, everybody.